Hey everyone, Joel Anderson. Today we're outside My Ma Dim Sum. Yes, My Ma Dim Sum here in Yakima, Yakima, Washington to do their big foot challenge. This is a $250 foot challenge. In fact, this $250 foot challenge is actually undefeated. So this bowl of pho includes three pounds of meat, about two pounds of uncooked noodles, so you do cook up a bit, and then somewhere between like a maybe three quarter gallon of broth, something roughly like there. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a lot of food, uh, but it sounds really, really delicious. Um, so ultimately, let's head on in and see what we can do. We were gonna have one hour to complete the challenge. Um, it is, I believe, $25 to uh, do the challenge. And then again, uh, if you win, you get 250, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, one hour, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can complete it. And uh, like I said, We'll be the first one, it's undefeated, so uh, let's go and see what we can do. And oh, a really cool thing they do here, they actually smoke their pho, yes, that's right. So you can do a smoked pho, which is definitely what I'm gonna do. I love smoked meats, I love smoked anything. So, smoked pho, let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the pho. It's definitely a very, 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 very large bowl. So, ultimately though, this is absolutely undefeated. There has been roughly about like nine-ish attempts, um, but in here we have like tripe, we have tendon, we have brisket, we have meatballs, um, of course we have like some scallions, some onions, of course all the noodles. So kind of very traditional, uh, we'll say pho fillings, pho ingredients. But what was so cool, which I didn't do before, I've never ever ever seen before, is they smoke this bowl for me. Yes, that's right, they actually do a smoked pho. So as you saw kind of in the beginning, they actually used an oak wood, they used a smoker, they pump this thing, we let it sit and kind of just absorb that delicious smoky flavor. So this is gonna be epic, because I love smoked meat. That is one of my absolute favorite things. So the fact that I'm gonna be able to have a kind of smoked bowl of pho, I think is so unique. That's about it. I'm really excited. I'll probably cool off a little bit, but uh, ultimately, we're gonna start here just momentarily. I'm just gonna try to start spooning some of this out. So how we get started, we'll see if we can maybe, excuse me, five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Mm. Ooh, I get the smoke. That's super cool. I like I said, you guys can talk if you want, so don't feel like you're super quiet. Very delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here in Yakima eating what is not only a massive 13 pound bowl of pho, but also the best bowl of pho I've ever had. And let me tell you why. So of course, the ingredients were really good. They were all fresh. We had a large variety of different meats, which I enjoyed, you know, including things like brisket. Um, we did have some kind of those like very uh, authentic kind of meatballs that are generally in pho. Um, you know, we had some tendons, some tripe, which, you know, are always key aspects. Who's the farthest somebody got on this? They have uh, two and three pounds of the meat and the broth. So like half? Yeah. Mm. Smoked pho, would recommend. But I had never had a bowl of pho that was smoked, and this was an absolute game changer. Smoking that bowl of pho gave it this amazing smoky flavor. It was aromatic to the nose, it was sensational on the mouth, and even just the, let's say, like 10, 15 minutes, that smoke kind of, uh, kind of immersed into the, the pho, man, it made such an amazing difference. So 10 out of 10, smoked pho is amazing. Now we're about two minutes in. I'm working on the solids, like the meats, and then I'm gonna go to the noodles. I'll probably talk a little bit more about the smoke pho, but we'll get time to the actual details of the challenge. So we had uh, three pounds of meat, uh, two pounds of noodles, which I believe was two pounds uncooked, and then they cooked up, so there's definitely a lot of noodles. And um, then we had all the broth, um, which was about like uh, three quarters of a gallon to a gallon of broth, um, which was very, very delicious. And um, yeah, like overall, just a very good tasting bowl of pho. Um, again, now it is pho. It's spelled P-H-O. A lot of people pronounce it pho, but it is actually pronounced pho. Um, so yes, for those who call it pho, it is technically pho. It definitely heats you up though, especially when it's like a 90 degree day out. 
That being said, if you want to call it pho, I don't mind, but I'm going to call it pho for the sake of the video and just in general practices. Um, we did have one hour to complete this bowl. It was undefeated, and the uh, kind of closest attempt was roughly about half. Um, I will say that with only a $25 buy-in, I want to say they made this challenge very, very, very accessible. I mean, even just for you know $25 for what you're getting here is an amazing deal. Not to mention you could potentially get you know $250 back, um, you know, which is I think an amazing prize for such a challenge. Don't get me wrong, this is a very big challenge. This does carry some difficulty, especially just due to the nature of the food, it being the pho. I personally find pho can be um, a little bit, mm, it's not, mm, I don't know if I want to say difficult, but it can take some time to eat, just due to the chewing, the slurping, etc, etc. So I push left, about four minutes in. I say two thirds of the solids gone, and all the noodles still left. The staff were super friendly here and I really love the environment. There are a lot of restaurants which are very proud of their food challenge and want people to try it like they did here, um, whereas you know some places they don't want people to win, they don't want to have fun with it, which ultimately food challenges should be there for fun, they're there to provide entertainment, they provide as I like to say dinner and a show, and uh, that's the way it should be. I am sweating though, oh my god, definitely a hot one. I did ask the gentleman, um, you know, where did you get the idea to smoke pho? And he said explicitly, and I quote, he said, well, I smoke a lot of weed. And I got to give it to him. Hey, if, if that's how that worked, I mean, it was a really good idea, actually. It was very delicious. So comment down below if, you know, you've ever been in a similar situation where you had a really good idea under some mm, interesting or alternate circumstances, we'll kind of put it that way. Um, regards that, the bowl of pho here, um, it was very hot. I did try to let it cool down quite a bit, but it was just like, it was 100 degrees outside this day, um, and just with, you know, consuming this much hot broth, hot noodles, hot meats, uh, man, I was definitely sweating. This thing was heating me up beyond above and beyond you know to infinity and beyond to quote buzz lightyear um, but nonetheless it was very enjoyable and i definitely want to keep on trucking through it all right pretty much on the solids there's a few left but let's get started with some of these noodles definitely a lot of noodles in here but everything is tasting absolutely fantastic to this point and i know it's going to remain the same so let's keep this up Ooh. oh wow that's some, that is some those are some big, big clumps of noodles. Ooh, and they are very hot. Maybe I'll try to separate them out of the broth a little bit. Probably a good, uh, a good move. Excuse me, try to let it cool down a little bit. Excuse me. Probably should have done this a little earlier, but you live and you learn. chunk. I'm going to give some ice. Try to cool the rest of this off a little bit. And then hopefully I'll be able to get it down pretty quick. Whew. Kind of the strategy was to eat the meats first and then I was going to try to go into the noodles, um, separate some of the noodles out as I need it to with that extra bowl to try to cool everything off, and then just kind of drink the broth down as much as possible so I wasn't really fondling in all excess broth. So that was kind of the overall strategy of it, um, and kind of to that point this is exactly what I was following in hopes that it would work out pretty well. It's a hot one though. Ooh, I'll tell you that much. Very, very much a hot one. But that's pretty much like I'm going to say the main gist of the challenge. Uh, again, with an hour to complete, I was really hoping we would be able to. Um, it was very delicious, like I said, a smoked bowl of pho is 100% what I would recommend. Definitely look for something. And if you got to go to Yakima to get it, hey, I would definitely say it's worth the trip. So Yakima, check this place out. Great staff, great food. Um, but ultimately at that, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can defeat this undefeated pho challenge and get that lovely cash prize. So with that, let's tune on in, see what happens, and I'll let you get to the rest of the video.
We're trying to get how fast we do it. It's a little slower today. Yeah. Already a little already a little bogged down to say the least, but. some of the bra so hopefully it's easier to kind of navigate. I do have a fork here. I may try to cop out and use a fork. Let's see how that helps at all. navigate through and then we still got this bowl of noodles which hopefully it's cooled off a bit <clears throat> excuse me Woo. <clears throat> comments of the chef that's for sure well, <laughs> i'm looking for uh, maybe another glass of ice if possible yeah, thanks so much So this bowl's pretty much empty, there's just a little bit left. I'm gonna reintroduce this and try to spin it around and cool it all off. Whew. We're about 11 and a half minutes in. Oh. Slowly but surely, but man, I am dripping sweat.
All right, the end is near. Oh, it's, it's actually really good though. I will say that, like smoking the fog did wonders. The broth is very, very good. I'm just hot. So, I mean, the cash money. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen and a half. Oh. <laughs> Total is 13 pounds, you said? Yeah, roughly, yeah, over 13 pounds. All right, just a few, uh, few stragglers. Uh, <laughs> Can you say ta da? Is that done? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo, All right. About 16 minutes, 20 seconds. Very delicious. Honestly, hands down, the best bull I've ever had. That's like smoking it was just next level. So definitely, if you're in Yakima, in the Yakima Valley, in the area, definitely stop on by here. Really, really enjoyed it. The staff have been great. Huge thanks to everybody who came on out. Really appreciate the local support. Um, and I didn't even advertise this. They just, these people knew the restaurant, they knew me, and here we are today. So super excited. Um, we do get $250, which is pretty dang cool for completing the challenge. Um, it was, but like I said, it was very, very delicious. Definitely the best bowl of I've ever had. So that everyone, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, to have really hungry, happy eating. I am just absolutely drenched, but luckily, I got to sit in a, 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 a air-conditioned car for about two and a half, three hours on my way back to the airport. I got to catch a plane, but with that everyone, till next time, Yakima is a really cool place. It's freaking in the desert. I didn't even know that, but that's about it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Yeah. Have a lovely day. And look at that. Money. No, seriously. Great spot. Would recommend. <laughs>